All right, class, today we're going to be reading Huckleberry Finn. So I hope you got your permission slip signed, because we're going to be saying the N-word 219 times. <laughs> so I hope you've got a glass of water, because your mouth's going to be dry. So turn in your permission slip so we can start saying it. Hey, Cody, did your parents sign your permission slip? Yeah, my stepdad's black, so he signed it. What about yours, Penelope? Yeah, because my dad's a cop and he says it all the time. Oh, I had to forge my dad's signature because I really wanted to say it. What about your parents, Joseph? They sign it? Dude, you know I don't have parents, and I don't need permission just to say it, dude. I'm black. I can say it anytime I want. Oh, well, let's turn in our slips, guys. Once you turn in your permission slip, grab a copy of the book. I wonder what page they say it on. All of them. Whoa, 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 Joseph. Your permission strip doesn't have a signature on it. Nigga, I don't need a signature. We own the word. No, your parents have to sign a permission strip before you can read the book. I don't have parents. Well, then where do you live? I live in a dumpster. The street lights is my mama and the dumpster is my daddy. Hold on. I have to call Child Protective Services. What? What for what? Nobody's shooting in here, right? I, I have to ask because this is America. It happens like every day. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Or Child Protective Services. Ooh, Huckleberry Finn! You guys say it yet? Yeah, I signed my daughter's permission slip so she can say it. It's pretty much the only chance she's gonna be able to say it without getting in trouble. You know, unless you're singing along to Little Wayne or Papa John's phone calls. No, this kid don't have no parents! Oh no, what happened? Your dad went to get milk and never came back? That's what happened to me. I think the child support scared him off. Oh yeah, the child support. Yeah, it almost got me too. It is a real bitch. You know, I don't understand why the man should have to pay. You know, what if I didn't even want the kid? But anyway, where you living now? In the dumpster. Oh, well, that's no good. Well, it looks like we're going to have to put you in a foster home. Of imaginary friends? No, no. Unfortunately, they had to close that down because nobody knew what the hell it was. No, I got to put you in the last foster home left in America way up in Utah. No, not Utah. Yeah, Utah. So just get your stuff. Wait, you probably don't have any stuff. I got a dirty toothbrush. Okay, well, bring that and then tell your friends you're never going to see him again. <laughs> Guess I'm going to Utah. <laughs> What's wrong, Joseph? I have to move to a foster home in Utah! Not Utah! Why Utah? Because I don't have parents! You guys, I found it! Oh, I wanna read it! No. Alright, come on, kid, we're going to Utah. I don't wanna go to Utah! Sorry, you got to. Now hop on my invisible horse. <laughs> Easy, girl. Come on. Let's go to Utah. Can I pet your horse? Oh, don't stand too close to the back. She might kick you. She's not gonna... <laughs> See, I warned you. I don't wanna go to Utah. Please don't make me go! I guess my horse could use a rest. Okay, if you can find a new family to adopt you by the end of the night, you don't have to go to Utah. Okay, yes! Come on, girl. Uh, oh, don't worry, Joseph. We're gonna find you a new family that'll adopt you by tonight. Come on! Come on, let's do it! <laughs> Stop crying, Joseph. We're gonna figure this out. Now, who do we know that would want to adopt Joseph? Nobody wants to adopt Joseph, because nobody loves me! Oh, don't say that, Joseph. I'm sure somebody loves you. You really think so, dude? Maybe. How about we ask Chef Pee, -Pee to adopt you, because Chef Pee, Pee loves kids. He loves playing with me. Oh, I don't think that's true. Dude, you really think Chef Pee, -Pee will adopt me? I think he will, but you stay right here while I go ask him in case he says something mean. Okay, you're right, you're right. Good looking out. Who ain't the daddy? I, I ain't the daddy. Who ain't the daddy? What? I ain't the daddy. Who you sing with it? Who ain't the daddy? I, you ain't the daddy. Yeah, who ain't the daddy? Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Look, Julia, I had a probability of paternity test, and look, zero fucking percent, because I ain't the daddy, never will be the daddy in that bitch dreams. <laughs> Wait, what happened, Chef? You got a girl pregnant? No, no, I never got a girl pregnant. Look, I, I met this girl. She was a Hooters waitress. She gave me wings, and I gave her that thing. You feel me? <laughs> and then she hit me up nine months later talking about she had a kid for me. I'm like, hell no. You ain't got no kid for Pee Pee. Uh uh, Pee Pee pullout game is super strong, superb, top tier. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I got the paternity test and they came out 0%. <laughs> I'm not the daddy. What? I'm not the daddy. So, you don't have a kid? No. <laughs> negative results. Read, boy. Yeah, negative results. It, it is negative. Yeah, I don't want no kid. Never want to see a kid. Don't want to see a woman with a kid. Don't want to smell a kid. <sighs> I don't even want a kid if it's not even mine. Never, ever. Now, what you want? What you gonna ask me? Uh, never mind. Well, you can ask me anything, man. I'm just a little excited. Come on. So, dude, what did Chef Pee, Pee say? Well, he didn't say no. What does that mean? Well, he also didn't say yes. I, I don't think today was a good day to ask him. We should ask him later. But until then, let's figure something else out. Like, ooh, Cody, why doesn't your parents adopt Joseph? Yeah, your dad's black. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I could call them over and we can ask them. Yeah, because, I mean, we're already best friends, so Joseph living with you wouldn't be weird. Yeah, I could be your straight brother, dude. 
Huh, well, I guess that could be kind of hot. Okay, I'll call him over here. Hey, Cody, you call this over? Yeah, you interrupted something very special. Very special. Yeah, your daddy was making toast to strudel. And I was right at the part where you put the icing on top of the strudel, and then you called, making me all nervous, and I shot my icing all over the covers. Ew. Well, your daddy also hit a possum on the way here. <laughs> yeah, I swear to hit that bitch. Okay, well, I was just gonna ask you guys if maybe you wanted to adopt my friend Joseph. What the hell? You want us to buy this little black boy? Oh, no, 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 no. Black people are not property. Slavery is over with. You know that. No, 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 not buy. Adopt. I don't care how you word it. We are not buying people. Then we are not doing that slave thing. Slavery is over with. But no, no, I just thought that maybe he could be like my brother. Oh, oh, you thought he was your brother. A brother. A slave brother that'll cook and clean and do all that picking the cotton and all that stuff. Huh? No, he's not going to be that because we're not buying slaves. Cody, you're grounded for being racism. But mom, I wasn't even being racism. Mm-mm, mm-mm, I'm sorry, little black boy. I didn't know I was raising a racism in my house. Come on, Judy, let me go ahead and finish that toaster strudel. Ooh, we could do it in the car. Yeah, to go. That could not have gone worse. Do you think your parents are going to adopt Joseph? No, J Junior, didn't you hear what they said? Uh, what? There's someone at the door. I'll get it. Hello? Hey, Junior. I came to bring Cody back his tape measure. I think he's going to be really happy with the results. Well, he's upstairs. Okay, I'll come right in. Hey, Cody. I measured like you said, and I'm two and a half inches. Really? That's it? What do you mean that's it? There's no way you're bigger than two and a half. I think I might be smaller. Measure again. Okay. What are you guys measuring? Well, I'm getting Timmy to measure his shoe size because he wants to borrow my shoes so he can go running, but I don't want him to bust him open. Wait a minute. Why doesn't Timmy's parents adopt Joseph? What? Yeah, so look, Joseph doesn't have parents, and he needs parents. So what if your parents adopted Joseph? I mean, I guess I can call and ask. What's the worst that they could say? Yeah, call them. Okay. I don't want to live with them. They're weird. Would you rather live with them or go to Utah? Uh, I guess you're right. Okay, guys, it's ringing. What do you want, Timmy? Your mother and I are rearranging my best lawn trophies. Oh, sorry for interrupting. Honey, I said biggest up top and smallest on the bottom. You better straighten up before I pop you. What do you want, Timmy? Well, Father, I was wondering if you could adopt one of my friends. If me and your mother wanted another kid, I'd just bang the babysitter. But Father, if you don't adopt him, he's going to be forced to move to Utah. Well, you should have taught to call someone else. Oh, I'm sorry, Joseph. It looks like they don't want to adopt you. No one wants to adopt the black kid. Hold on, did you say black kid? Yes, sir. Is he good at sports? Um... Well, he has a sports ball on his shirt. Your mother and I are coming over right now. Yes, sir. Hey, guys, I think they're interested. All right, Demi, where's the All-American? He's right there in the green shirt. <gasps> oh, my God, honey, he has a sports ball on his shirt. I'm going to be like Sandra Bullock. Great, we'll adopt him. Really? Whoa, I really have a family now? Yeah, but see, this is how it's going to work. You're going to sign a conservatorship so we can get book deals, movie deals, shoe deals, and we're going to take 97% of your NFL contract. And we'll put the other 3% in a trust so when you turn 35 or some shit, you'll act like you got blindsided by the whole thing. Wow. Oh, this sounds like a dream come true. Hey, Timmy, I gotta go pee. You wanna help me in the bathroom? Yes, totally. All right, so how do I adopt him? Do I have to send money to a Nigerian prince or something? No, I'll go get the cops. Why? He didn't steal anything. <laughs> Easy, girl. Can I bet your horse? Okay, but she bites. Never mind. So, kid, you found someone to adopt you? Yeah, these cool white people want to adopt me. Yeah, we're hoping he's gonna be a famous football player. Oh, Jesus, not this again. You guys are trying to do a blind sight, huh? I'm Sandra Bullock. All right. Well, here. Here are the adoption papers. Just sign right there and you get paid. All right. There you go. Well, congratulations, kid. You don't have to go to Utah unless you get drafted by the Utah Jazz. No, nah, he's going to be a football player. Come on, let's go test your 40 time. Okay. Yeah, Joseph, go hang out with your new family. Nice throw, Dak. Now try throwing it at a player, damn it. Excuse me, coach. What do you folks want? We just adopted this boy. We want to make sure we made a good investment. Can he join the football team? Well, let's test your 40. Go line up. Okay, dude. Oh, I'm so ready, dude. On your mark, get set. <laughs> time! Oh, sweet Jesus, 640. Is that good? No, it's slow as shit. He's not joining my football team. Damn it! Honey, why did we adopt him? Well, I'm good at basketball. You better be LeBron fucking James. Let's go. <sighs> Oh! Yeah, that's what the fuck I'm talking about, Moose. We're going to beat the Washington Generals because of you. Excuse me, coach. Now, what the hell do you want? We adopted this kid, and we want to see if he's good at basketball. Huh, you're a little short. Can you shoot? 
A gun or a basketball? Hmm. Tell you what, if you can beat Moose in a one-on-one -on -one game, you can join the Harlem Globetrotters. Who the hell is Moose? Hello. That's Moose. Do you play Five Night Freddy? Oh yeah, I can beat his ass. All right, first to six win. Okay. Okay, I want to give the ball to you. You give back to me, okay? Okay. Here you go. Uh, where you going, boy? I'm right here. What's up? Here you What's up? Oh. Oh. Oh man, Moose already scored two points. Not looking good, fellas. Come on, LeBron James, pick up the base. Buddy hit me. I know you guys saw that. I'm sorry, the Moose got too aggressive. Matter of fact, you can have a free shot. Really? He go. Okay, bet. You got this. Moose house. What the hell? Huh? That's right, Moose. Pack that shit. What the hell are you doing, LeBron? He's not playing fair, Dad. Ow. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Your boy's getting killed out there. You want me to end this? No, LeBron, you better score. Okay, Dad, I got it. I gotta do this for the family. Check up. You uh, wait. Uh, wait. The hell? Your boy can't even get off a shot. LeBron, if you don't make a shot, you're unadopted. Oh, I can't let my family down. I finally got a home, three square meals a day, people that care about me, and a toilet to poop in. Oh, I can't let this go. I'm a win a day. Uh, check up. Uh, uh. Your kid sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I'm not your dad. What? What does that mean? Where are you going? <laughs> What's wrong, Joseph? My parents unadopted me. They what? They ripped up the adoption papers and said I'm not their kid anymore. Well, that's not legally binding, and the cop didn't see them do that, so they're still technically your parents, and that means you don't have to go to Utah. And oh my god, that means we're still brothers, and you can come over any time and we can sleep in the same bed. We are not sleeping in the same bed together, dude. Well, Joseph, you can stay here as long as you want sometimes. What? Really, dude? Man, that's the support I need. Thank you, bro. Yeah, Joseph, you'll always have the support of your best buds. Yeah, we always got your back, Joey. Yeah, appreciate you guys, man. Let's go into one big group hug. Oh, I want to be in the middle. Me too. Uh, how about no to the hug if uh, Timmy and Cody's in it? Yeah, let's just high five. Yeah, let's high five, dude. <sighs> best friends forever. All right, Joseph, are you ready to play Chomp and Charlie? Oh yeah, dude, that squirrel's gonna take these nuts. Guys, 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 the coolest thing ever's happened. Hold on, Cody, we're playing Chomp and Charlie. What, what is Chomp and Charlie? Well, we put a bunch of nuts in the squirrel's mouth. What, guys, that's so lame. You don't need a squirrel for that. I'm right here. Look, uh, give me those nuts. No, Cody, we want to play with the squirrel. Okay, well, I want to play too. Okay, then look, roll the dice, and whatever color nut it lands on, you put that nut in his mouth. Hmm, I don't see mine on here. Mine's more of like a flesh color with like a mole on it and some hair. Jesus. Um, eh. Let's see. Oh, I got a blue. Okay, so I just take this and I put that in there. Ooh, <laughs> I think he likes it. You like that, Mr. Squirrel? You're only supposed to put one. Oh, oh, look at his eyes. I think he likes my nuts. Ooh, take more of my nuts, you dirty little squirrel. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough, Cody. Oh, this is hot. Oh, yeah, get that in there. Oh, how many can you fit, big boy? There you go. Oh, <laughs> Oh man, that was hot. Yeah, I'm not playing anymore, dude. Yeah, we're not gonna play anymore, Cody. Oh wait, guys, I completely forgot why I came here. All timers already? Oh, too young. What? No, guys, Ken's on TV. But Ken's on TV? Why? Yeah, look. <sighs> Hello, my name is Dr. Frederick Fingershitz, and today I am going to show you my newest creation. This is my son, Frankenstein. Now I know what you're thinking, Dr. Fingershitz. How did you create this Frankenstein? Well, what I did was I took random body parts that I found at car accidents before the police showed up and I sewed all of those pieces together into him. Now, last week I asked all of you to send in body parts I could use for my creation and a very nice fan from Florida named Cody sent me this doll. Whoa! Kids in a Dr. Finkelstead's episode? Yep, yep, they had a P.O. box that people could send body parts to to be on the show, and so I thought it'd be funny to send Ken there. He's my little movie star. Look at him, he's not even camera shy. What are they gonna do with him after the show? I don't know, I hope they send him back. I will now insert this doll into Frankenstein. Here we go, here comes the doll. It is nice and deep in there. Okay, now, rise! Rise, my child! What, 
Oh, oh, no, uh, not that kind of rice. Rice in a different way, yes. Come on, yes, 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 my boy. It's alive! It's alive! What? What are you doing? No, no, Frankenstein! Don't kill me, Frankenstein! No, no, I need to stop I didn't sign up for that. The only guy Ken's allowed to be inside of is me, not that Frankenstein monster weirdo. No, Cody, Frankenstein just ate Dr. Finkel shit! Guys, it's a TV show. None of that's actually real. What? What's going on? Dude, I think the news is on. The news! Breaking news, okay? Frankenstein, a monster created by Dr. Finkelschitz, has come to life and killed his creator. Police are saying that he's extremely dangerous and to be on the lookout. <laughs> that was so ugly. That was so ugly, Cody. I'm sorry. It's just I thought that was a TV show, but it turns out it's real. Frankenstein's on the loose and Ken's still inside him. Well, look, when the cops kill Frankenstein, they'll get Ken out of him and give him back to you. No, Junior, if the cops kill Frankenstein, I'll never get Ken back. Oh, guys, I have an idea. How about we don't care because it's a stupid doll? Not at all, Joseph. All right, Cody, so we gotta find Frankenstein before the cops do. Yeah, and Ken's still trapped inside Frankenstein, so I guess that makes him Frankenstein. <laughs> so how do we find Frankenstein, Cody? Well, if Ken's still trapped inside Frankenstein, that means he's probably controlling him, so he should be able to find his way home. I just have to spread my scent around a little. Hold on. <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, Cody, that's disgusting! Why does your fart smell like sweaty balls? Well, what goes out's what went in. But still, I mean, Ken should be able to smell that from a mile away. He's a bloodhound for farts. He's my little fart snarfer. I don't think Ken's gonna come over your farts. Well, he does that all the time. But does anybody have any peanut M&Ms? Why do you need peanut M&Ms? Well, that's Ken's favorite candy. I mean, I know I've never mentioned it before, but that is Ken's favorite candy. I mean, I'm establishing that right now. That's his favorite candy. Add that to the wiki. Okay, Joseph, there's peanut M&Ms out there. Can you grab them? Yeah, I got you, dude. Okay, but that was fast. I think I'm gonna have to fart in that bag of M&M's just to make sure Ken finds it. You're not farting in the peanut M&M's, Cody. Look, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna spread them around so Frankenstein can find his way home. All right, Cody, so what are we gonna do? Well, I'm just gonna pour some of these peanut M&M's on the ground. Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, Frankenstein! Oh, guys, we can't run. We have to take him back to the house. Well, you talk to him. Hey there. Hey there, Ken. It's me. It's Cody. Ah. Yes, I have some peanut M&M's, your favorite. Ah. Yeah, get some. There you go. Ah. Oh, good, Frankenstein. Come on back to the house, boy. The cops are looking for you. Okay, Ken, sit down. Uh, oh, 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 you want your M&Ms. Okay, there you go. So, Cody, what are we going to do now? I don't know, guys. Ken's just so big. Ooh, Ken's so big. Uh, could you guys leave me and Ken alone for a little while? No, we have to get Ken out of his stomach. Well, I don't know how we're going to do that, guys. Uh, uh, don't eat that one, Ken. That one looks gross. Well, I got an idea. If Ken's inside his stomach, why don't we just get Chef Pee Pee to make him some, some, something to eat, and then when he eats, he'll poop Ken out, because his stomach will be full of food. I mean, yeah, I guess it's worth a try. <laughs> All right, Ken, we're going to go downstairs now. Come on, <laughs> come on, Ken. 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 Come Let it burn, baby! Ah! Oh, no, 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 Ken, Ken, calm down, calm down. Ah! Hold on, hold on, here, have some M&M's. There you go, there you go, that's a good boy. Why did Ken freak out like that? I think he's afraid of fire. Okay, well, he won't go around fire anymore. Well, I liked your idea about him pooping out Ken, but how do we do that? Yeah, what, what kind of food will make him poop? Ooh, ooh, I know, why don't we get him some Taco Bell? That always gives me the giggle shits. Yeah, let's get him some Taco Bell. Okay. Uh, I'll order right now. Okay, Ken. Okay, the Taco Bell's here. Give me those M&M's. No, no, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Look, look, you have a you have a Taco Bell burrito. Yes, yes, it's good. Yes. Mm, yummy. Yummy. You like that? Yeah. It's good. Oh, oh, I think he has to poop. Oh, he, oh, oh he's farting. Oh, oh, give him the bathroom. Okay, Let's give him the bathroom. Okay, come on. Hey, 
you go. There you go, Ken. Poop it out. That's good. But Cody, what happened to your shirt? Oh, I got burritos squirted all over me in the last scene, so I just decided to take my shirt off so it doesn't stain. <laughs> I'll just give you guys some privacy. Okay. Oh, did he poop out Ken? No, he just had a regular old monster poop. <laughs> Lots of peanuts, though. So then what took you guys so long? Now, we had to stop at McDonald's to get my free medium french fries I get from McDonald's every week. I missed a few weeks, so I went ahead and got two. So how are you going to get Ken out of him? I don't know. Dude, I'm tired of this. Let's just cut him out. <laughs> I don't think he's going to let you do that, Joseph. Yeah, I don't think you can cut into him. we got to think of something else. What? There's someone at the door. Uh, let me go answer by myself. Okay, damn. Hey Hello? there, uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, that, that was rude, you go ahead. Hello? Hey, I, I got a call from a scared chef that said there was a monster in his kitchen. What, you did? Yeah, normally I wouldn't believe it, but they said on the news that Frankenstein was on the loose, so I pretty much have to search this house, and I'm pretty sure Frankenstein's in here. Well, he's not in here, and you're not allowed to search without a warrant. Well, you're right, I'm not, but uh, search without a warrant says what? What? Ha! Classic police bamboozle. I am such a hoot. Now step aside, I'm gonna search your house. Uh, Aha! See, no Frankenstein here. Huh, maybe you would tell him the truth, kid. Yeah, no Frankenstein's here. Oh, the green dude? Shut up, Joseph. Uh, nope, no Frankenstein. Hmm, okay, I guess I'll just leave then. That was way too close. But wait! Didn't you kids hear there was a monster mash? A monster mash? What's a monster mash? Yeah, word on the street is that it's a graveyard smash. They did the mash! They did the monster mash! They did the mash! It was a graveyard smash! They did the mash! It got on in a flash! They did the mash! Ah I got you, Frankenstein! Oh, no, 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 that, that's not Frankenstein! That's Funkenstein! Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's why he's dancing. Huh, I guess you're right. Real Frankenstein couldn't have moves that smooth. But wait a minute, yes he could, it's the Monster Mash! Come on, Frank! Get back here, Frankenstein! Oh, Frank. Uh, uh, aha, I got you! Huh? Wow, that, that wasn't hard at all. That's what she said! <laughs> Yeah, me and my erectile dysfunction. God, getting old sucks. Oh, no, no, don't hurt him! That's my boyfriend! Really? I, I feel like there should be a charge for that. Well, listen, listen, Cody doesn't really care about Frankenstein. His doll is stuck in his stomach and he wants to get him out. Yeah, I guess that's true. Oh, I guess I could just cut him open. No! Anything but that! I love Frank! <laughs> Jo Joseph, where'd that come from? Uh, listen, can you just get his doll out of him? I mean, I could just do a cavity search and pull him out of his butt. Yeah, let's do that. All right, hold him down, kids. Come on. Ah! 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 We're holding him down. We're holding him down. I almost got him. Ugh. Ew, Franken Gooch. Is this your boyfriend? Oh, Ken, I'm so glad you're safe. The only one whose rump you're allowed to go in is mine. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't do that. Mm, that's kind of a tang. So what are we going to do with Frankenstein's body? <laughs> well, they did say it was a graveyard smash. Oh, damn, Frank got a dumpy. More like Thickumstein. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds, I'm about to tear this up live. Uh, okay. Ugh. Wow, guys, I can't believe we just saw the cop do that to Frankenstein. I mean, I know he said he was going to, but I didn't believe him. And then, bam, he just started going to town. Let me see if he's still going. Yeah, he is. Damn, the stamina. So, at least you got Ken back. Yeah, that's all that matters. You're not gonna wash him? <laughs> no, why would I do that? Dude, he's been in Frankenstein's booty all day, and then you kissed him! Uh, yeah, he's been in a lot of booties. I'd say he's bootylicious. Bootylicious bubblegum. <laughs> I am not. I don't have a booty phobia, okay? You guys should know that about me by now. Oh. Well, what are we gonna do for the rest of the day? I don't know. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. They, they did, did the, the mash. mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It got on in a flash. They did the mash. I Whee! Whoa, Joseph just went down the slide. Dude, this is the best slide ever. Okay, I'm about to slide down it. Do it, Junior. Hey guys, can I go down the slide? Uh, I don't know how you would, you're in a wheelchair. Junior! I'm just being honest, there's no ramp for him to get up here. Well, you guys can pick me up and push me down the slide. Pick you up? I'm not the world's strongest man, I can't pick up your wheelchair. Junior! I'm being honest, that wheelchair probably weighs like 300 pounds. Look, if God wanted you to plan this jungle gym, he wouldn't have put you in a wheelchair. Junior, why are you being so mean? I'm not being mean, I'm just being real. Look, you can watch me go down the slide! Ah! Oh my god, my leg! My leg! Asshole. Oh my god! Ow! Well, kid, it looks like you broke your leg from falling on the playground, so I recommend you stay in this wheelchair for a few weeks. I don't want to be in a dumb wheelchair! Hey, it's not all bad. You know, you can have people push you around. You can go down hills really fast. Hey, you're like a transformer! Autobots, roll out. You know that noise? This is dumb! Cheer up, kid.
Guys, I don't want to be in this stupid wheelchair. Well, Junior, this is karma for you making fun of that kid in the wheelchair on the playground. What's karma? This is stuff that go on apples, dude. I'm not a karma apple, Cody. But no, that's caramel. Then what's karma? Karma is when you get- Oh, it's chapstick. Oh, dude, my lips are so chap. Wait, no, that's Carmex. Then what's karma? <sighs> karma is- Oh, it's when you buy cars online. Wait, no, that's Carmax. Then what's karma? I would tell you if you stop interrupting me. Karma is when- Oh, you get... karma's that girl with the big boobies. Karma Electra. Yeah, she's hot. Wait, no, that's Carmen Electra. Then what's karma, Cody? Karma is when you Oh, it's when an Italian guy says, Get in the car, ma! Get in the car, ma! Get in the car, ma! Well, the shut car, the hell ma. up! Everybody shut up! No, karma is when you get what you deserve. So if you do something good, something good happens to you. And when you do something bad, something bad happens to you. So by making fun of that kid in the wheelchair, you ended up in a wheelchair. So you're saying if I make fun of your glasses, I'm gonna get glasses? Well, if something happens to your eyes, yes, that would be karma. Oh, I'm about to roast this man. Don't do it, dude. Oh, I'm about to roast this boy. Don't Hold do on. it. Boy! Simon from Alvin the Chipmunks looking at. Ooh. Dexter's Laboratory looking at. Don't do it! Edna from Incredibles looking at. He on the road. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone looking at. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets looking at. Harry Potter and the and the Prisoner of Azkaban looking at. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire looking at. Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix looking at. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince looking at. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1 looking at. Harry Potter and the De Deathly Hollows Part 2 looking at. Ha is that all the Harry Potter movies? I think it's one more, is it? Uh, no. Harry Potter looking at. Ooh. You just said Harry Potter. But yeah, you, you have to wear your 3D glasses in the real world to see 3D looking ass. Uh, Coke bottle uh, glasses. Okay. Four eyes. See, I'm not blind, Cody. Well, you know, karma doesn't happen every time. Hey, guys, want to play with my Nerf gun? Yeah, that'd be fun. <laughs> oh, oh, no, my eye, my eye, you shot me in the eye. Well, kid, that Nerf bullet really messed up your eye, so you're going to have to wear these glasses for a while. I don't want to be a four-eyed nerd. See, Junior, karma. Well, Doctor, is karma a real thing? Yeah, I think so. One time I was in a parking lot, and I backed into this car and drove off, and now whenever I drive, people hit my car and drive off, so that'd be karma. Well, well this is just dumb, because I made fun of a kid in a wheelchair, now I'm in a wheelchair. I made fun of his dumb glasses. Now I have glasses. Well, yeah, that sounds like karma. I'd stop making fun of people if I were you. See, Junior, have you learned your lesson? No, because everything was just a coincidence, because Jeffy is the one that shot me in the eye. I didn't do that to myself, so I think everything's just a coincidence. So you're just going to keep making fun of people? Yeah, you know, I'll make fun of your dumb, stupid pimple to see if I get pimples. So, uh, pizza face? Ooh! Braille face? Yo, one! Helen Keller could read your face because your face is bumpy from all the pimples. <laughs> uh, what's it called when the stars make shapes in the sky? Constellation. Constellation pimple face? Flame! I could connect the dots with the pimples on your face? Face? See, Cody? Look, I don't have any pimples on my face. Well, actually, I think I see one. W where? Right there on the side of your face. Well, it's been there. Oh, dude, that was not there earlier. Wait, so you're saying I got a pimple on my face for making fun of your pimples? Yes, Junior, I told you, karma's real. No, it's not! <laughs> That must be my pizza I ordered earlier. Wait, you ordered pizza? Yeah, I did, so wheel me there. Wheel me downstairs. Okay. Hello? Hey, I have your pizza here. Cody, hear how he talks. He talks with a lisp. He said, I have your pizza here. Junior, don't make fun of his lisp. It's just weird. Ooh, and be really careful because it's really, really hot. It just came out of the oven. I can't understand a single word he's saying with his lisp. Hey, say it, don't spray it, skunk mouth. <laughs> Good one! Joseph, grab the pizza. Okay, dude. And here's the money. Ooh, thanks. Do I get a chip? Use mouthwash. No. You're not gonna tip him, Junior? No, take me inside, go! Okay, Cody, feed me a piece of pizza. Junior, you were really mean to that pizza guy. How? You made fun of his lisp and you didn't tip him. I shouldn't have to tip him, Cody. He's already paid to deliver pizzas. It's his job. Well, he gets most of his money from tips. Well, if he wants to make more money, he should get a different job. Well, you still made fun of his lisp. Because he was talking weird and he spit all over me while he was talking. Just hurry up and feed me a piece of pizza. Okay, fine. Here comes the choo-choo train, but be careful, it's hot. Just hurry up and put it in my mouth. <laughs> That's what I said. Oh, oh it's hot! Oh, it burned my mouth! It burned my mouth! Junior, I told you it was hot! I burnt my tongue! I burnt my tongue! Oh, dude, you have a lisp! What? Yeah, Junior, it's karma. You have a lisp because you made fun of his lisp. No, it's bullshit! No, no, no! I burnt my mouth by eating pizza pizza. It's not karma. You told me it was hot, I just didn't listen. That's not karma. Also, I didn't tip him. Where's my karma for that? Well, I don't know. Junior! You ordered pizza and didn't tell me! I didn't think you wanted pizza! Pizza dead? Of course I want pizza, stupid! Oh, now you're grounded! That means no allowance, so give me that pizza! Well, no, Dad, that's my pizza! I'm hungry! Go, oh, he took my allowance! Haha, <laughs> Junior, see, that's karma for not tipping the pizza man. Now you lost your allowance. Okay, Cody, this whole karma thing is stupid! Okay, look, how do I get rid of the karma? Well, there is such a thing as good karma, so if you do good things, then good things will happen to you. So if I go give homeless people money, my dad will give my allowance back? Maybe. Okay, can I borrow some money? But 
Why? Because I want to give money to the homeless people. But that would be me doing something nice, not you. No, it'd be me doing something nice because I borrowed the money from you and I gave the money to the homeless people. But how are you going to pay me back if you don't have any allowance? Because my dad will give me my allowance back when I do nice things to homeless people. Just give me some money, you big, fat, ugly, four-eyed freak. Okay, fine. Here's a five. All right, let's go get to a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bum, here's five dollars. But, Junior, it doesn't count if you're still mean. <laughs> I'm gonna buy more beer. <laughs> See, look, he's happy. I did something nice. Let's go. <laughs> All right, Cody, if karma works the way you say it does, my dad should come back in here and give me my allowance back since I gave that homeless person money. I said maybe. Dad, can you get in here? What do you want, Junior? Can I have my allowance back? No, you can't have your allowance back. You didn't think about me when you ordered that delicious pizza. No! Cody, it didn't work! Well, maybe it didn't work because you were being selfish. Karma does not know I was being selfish. Yes, it does, and you still owe me $5 because you give my $5 to the homeless guy, so how are you going to pay me back? Oh, I know how I'm going to pay you back. That homeless guy said to give it back to me. Junior, where are you going? <laughs> I got $5. Give me back my $5, you bum! Don't do it! Don't do it! Oh, my God! Well, Junior, you just beat up a homeless guy for $5. I don't think Karma's going to like that. What's Karma going to do? Take my house from me and make me homeless? Well, I don't think it would do anything that crazy. I'm going to go downstairs and ask Chevy to make me something to eat since my pizza was taken from me. Can you wheel me downstairs, peasant? Junior, I'm not going to let you talk to me that way. <laughs> uh, okay, that was pretty hot. Come on. Be careful, Cody. The stairs are coming up. Hold on, Junior. I have to go pee. Just wait till we get downstairs. Look, when I gotta go, I gotta go. Short peen, short stream. What? Just wait. I can just do this myself. Uh, I think you should wait for Cody, dude. Can you just help me, Joseph? No, dude, I'm not your help. What you gonna do, call me boy next? I'll just do it myself. Uh... <laughs> ah! Oh, 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 oh God! Uh... Dude, are you okay? That was a pretty harsh fall! Uh, it's okay. I only fell halfway up the stairs. I can walk the rest of the way. Oh, 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 oh. Dude, are you okay? Wait, what happened to Junior? He thought he could do it himself, and then he fell down the stairs. Junior, I said wait. Uh, Cody, this is all your fault. Junior, this is karma for you trying to beat up the homeless guy. No, this is not karma. You didn't help me down the stairs. Well, I had to pee. You could have just waited. Just put me back in my wheelchair and take me to Chef Peepee, you four-eyed freak. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Hey, Chef Peepee, can you make me something to eat? Not right now, Junior. I'm trying to boil peanuts. Why are you making boiled peanuts in a frying pan? You're supposed to use a pot. Look, smartass, if you want to boil the peanuts yourself, you can. Chef Peepee, -pee, don't get mad at Cody. He knows how to boil peanuts because his mom's a fat elephant. <sighs> Sick burn, Junior. Hey, Chef Peepee, -pee, can I have one of those peanuts before you boil them? Uh, sure, Junior. Okay, let me just try to... Ah! Wow, kid. I think you're gonna be dead by the end of the day if you don't calm down. Yeah, Junior, karma gets you really bad. what I do to deserve my face getting burned off? Well, you called my mom an elephant, which was a sick burn, so now you have a sick burn on your face. That's complete bullcrap, Cody. I was reaching for the peanuts and I fell out of my wheelchair and landed on the stove. It was my fault, not karma. I don't know, kid. I think your friend might be right. Are you going bald? What? Are you going bald? Well, I mean, yeah, I'm going bald in the front and back, so what? Wait, aren't you a little too young to be going bald? I think you go bald at like 80 years old. Okay, you know what? That's it. You're gonna get what's coming to you. And Pooby, why are you bald? <laughs> You little asshole. That's it. Me and Brooklyn guy are out of here. Oh, wow. They just left. Great job, Junior. You made Pooby leave. <sighs> Wait, what's this white stuff in your hair? Well, I have white stuff in my hair? Oh, no. Junior, I think you have lice. What, rice? What, no, lice. What, rice? You eat it with butter. It's delicious. What, no, Junior, lice is little bugs that live in your hair. I have bugs in my hair. Call the doctor. Doctor, get back here. Hey, what's up? He says I have bugs in my hair. Oh, no, kid. You have lice. So not rice? No, no. That's delicious. You eat it with butter. Lice is little bugs that live in your hair. Well, get them out. How do you get them out? I have to shave your whole head. Well, shave my head. Shave my head. Okay. All right, kid. I shaved your whole head. So now you're bald like me and Pooby. So suck that. Yes, yeah, suck it. All right, kid, I'm out of here. All right, Cody, I believe you. Karma's real. Really? Yeah, karma's real. Everything you said, when you do bad stuff, bad stuff happens to you. I just want to reverse it. What do I do? Well, maybe if you do something genuinely nice, things will get better. Okay, I'm going to try it. I believe in you, dude. You can do it. Okay, I'm going to start with you, Cody. Cody? Yeah? You're not the ugliest person I've ever seen. Okay, that's a start, dude. Well, well, yeah, that's, well. that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Wait, wait a minute. My leg, it feels better. Hold on. I can stand up! Look at God! Yeah, keep going, Junior. Okay, um, Cody, if you were the last person on Earth, I'd be your friend. Well, okay, that's kind of nice, I guess. Well, my eye! It feels better! Let me take these glasses off! Uh, guys, my eyes work now! Hallelujah! Oh, Cody, this is working, this is working. Okay, keep going, Junior. Uh, okay, um, Cody, if we were picking teams for dodgeball at school, I would pick you second to last. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good. Wait, hold on, my pimple! It feels like uh, it came off! Hercules! 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 I don't have acne anymore! Keep okay, going, Junior. Okay, how do I get rid of the burns on my face and my hair back? Dude, you gotta get the ultimate compliment. 
I can't do it, Joseph. Dude, you have to do it. I just, I don't think I can do it. You know what you have to say. Okay, I will do it to have my life back to normal. Cody, your mom is not fat. Come on, you can do it. Oh, your mom is not fat. She's not what, Junior? She's not fabulous. What? She, cause she's more than that. She's not fabulous, she's more than that. Because she's such a mm -hmm. She's such a wonderful. Yes. Your mom. Your mom is a wi No, no, can't call her that. Your mom is a wi Your mom is way too fat for age. She's a big fat cow. Moo, 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 oink, 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 moo. Yes, he just could. All right, baby, are you ready to watch TV? Yeah, Marvin, I'm excited to watch Shark Tank. Ooh, Ma Phipps, I got you some SpaghettiOs. I never asked for SpaghettiOs, Dougie. But you look so really all that, be all that hungry. I don't look hungry. Yes, you do. Here, look, at least read it. What, read it, what could you have possibly spelt with SpaghettiOs? They're all O's. What, Marfin, please, Call of Duty. Marfin, please give me the new Call of Duty, please. I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty, Dougie. Also, these aren't SpaghettiOs. These are alphabet letters. The, the SpaghettiOs only have O's. Oh. Yeah, and also, my name's not Marfin. It's Marvin. I want a muffin. I didn't say muffin. Look, and also, 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 I'm not getting you the new Call of Duty. You can buy it yourself. But I need it, and I ain't got no job. Oh, you ain't got a job? Well, no. I, got, I got an idea. All right, Dougie, I got this. I thought you was gonna go get your wallet. Why would I go get my wallet? To give me $60 so I can get the game. I'm not getting you new Call of Duty, Dougie. I got a soup. See, I told you you was hungry. I'm not hungry. Look, read it. Did you get it? See, I can't read. But why the fuck were you staring at it so long? You can't read. You just told me you couldn't read. Because it looked good. If you can't read, then how would you spell Marfin, please call of duty? Because I'll pay someone $5 to do it. If you pay someone $5 to do it, you can use that $5 to go towards the game. Well, see, it was an investment. See, I paid $5 to hopefully get a $60 game. All right, listen, it says get a job. Well, why'd you put it in the soup? You could have just told me, Daps. You could have just told me to get your new Call of Duty. But then you would have said no. I did say no. <sighs> what? Listen, me and Rose are going to watch the new Shark Tank episode, and you're going to watch it with us. Well, see, I don't understand why you're going to sit around and watch a bunch of fish swim around and tank and stuff when you can just give me $6 and I can get a game. Look, watch this show. It might inspire you to make some money. Four sharks who are all billionaires are looking to invest their money into the next million dollar product. Hello Sharks, my name is Jonathan, and I live in my mother's basement. So Sharks, how many of you have went to go watch anime on your laptop, and then all of a sudden, you have to blow your load of boogers, so you grab your tissue, and then you blow your load into it, and now you start watching anime again. But then, 15 minutes later, all of a sudden, you have to blow another load of boogers. So you reach in your tissue box, but it's empty because your mother has you went to the store in three weeks. Well, now what are you going to do? You have to blow your load of boogers, and you have no way to do it. Well, Sharks, I have created a solution to this worldwide problem. Introducing to you, the Come With Me Rag. Wherever I go, this bad boy comes with me. And it's machine washable, so it's reusable, so it's better for the environment than just regular tissues. And this bad boy can hold so many loads of boogers. So sharks, who's ready to blow their load of cash with me? Uh, I, I have a question. Uh, what material is it made of? Is it soft? Because I have kind of a sensitive uh, nose. Oh, I have a sensitive nose too! So I made sure to make this out of the softest products. This is made out of 100% pure Egyptian cotton made in India. Can, can I feel it? Of course you can feel it! Oh, oh, thank you. Wow, wow, this is soft. Uh, yeah. Ah, you know, I actually have to sneeze. You mind if I blow my load of boogers into this? Sure! Blow all the loads of boogers you need! Mm, mm, that did feel good on my nose, but... Ah, it's kind of a weird smell. It smells kind of salty. Oh, that's because I had to use it on the way here. I had to blow a quick load of boogers into it. Ew! I have a question. How many loads of boogers can you blow into it? I would say five loads of boogers. First, you want to work the corners. Then, you want to work your way towards the middle. 
Does it come in any different colors? It only comes in white, so you don't see the booger stains. I don't understand the product. It looks like any towel I would find at a store. Shut up, lady! This product's not meant for you! Well, I'd like to make an offer. I'll give you $200 for it. Sold, sucker! This is just a regular watch slot from Target! No takes it back, she's no pay up! I knew it! Well, deal is a deal. Give me that bad boy. Yo, Malvips! They just gave that man $200 for a washcloth? Well, usually you're supposed to invent something and then the sharks will invest their money into it. So if I go on the show, they're gonna give me $60 for the new Call of Duty? No, they're not gonna give you money for Call of Duty, but if you invent something and they like it, they'll invest their money and then you can make money for Call of Duty. Oh, okay. I got some easy ideas. Keep watching the show. I'll be right back. The sharks are ready to hear the next invention. Hello, sharks. My name is Itchy Boy Dougie, and my invention is to give me money box. So what you do is you put money in the box, and then I have it. So who wants to invest? I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. I'm out. Now hold on. I have a question. When I put my money in the box, where does the money go? It goes in the box, and then I takes it out, and then I have it. Okay. But how do I make money? Well, you ain't gonna make money, you just gonna make me happy because now I get the game. The game? The brand new Call of Duty, I need it! Yeah, I'm out. What you mean you out? You out some money? I know you ain't out some money because I know you rich. Y'all know you can afford to give me $60. Leave! Okay, I'll take my money back somewhere else. Marvin the Mean Sharks on TV was mean. They said no to my invention. And I know it's a good idea because I'm like Thomas Edison. It's not a good idea, Dougie. It's just a box that says give me money on it. Well, does anyone else want to invest? No. Well, since I was on TV, I'm famous. So I'll only charge you $60 for my autograph. I don't want an autograph, Dougie. If you want $60 that bad, go get a job. Ooh, Marvin the Fair's in town. Can we go? No, all the rides make me nauseous. Well, we don't have to ride rides. We can just play games and win prizes. But the games are scams. Last time I lost a hundred dollars. <gasps> Marvips, did you say scam and a hundred dollars? So all I got to do is set up a game and people will give me a hundred dollars? No, the games at the fair are scams and they charge you a lot of money to win cheap prizes. So I wouldn't suggest doing that. Oh, thanks for the idea, Muffin Man. You can have my box. What? Dougie, come on, come on, and Dougie's Dunkaroo. Oh, I want to play the game. Yeah, me too. All right, well let me tell you how to play. First, you pay me. $10 and then you get two shots. If one of your shots makes it one of these holes, whatever the number next to the hole is, is how much money you gotta pay me. So if it goes in the 10 hole, you gotta pay me $10. If it goes in the 50 hole, you gotta pay me $50. Wait, so we have to pay to play and then we have to pay again if we win? Yeah. Well then why would we even play? Cause it's really fun. Look, I even give you two free shots. Go ahead. Ooh, a free shot. I'll go first. Oh, I almost made it. Okay. <sighs> Oh, I get 10. All right, now you owe me $10. Wait, you said it was free to play. Well, it was free to shoot the shot, but if it goes in a hole, you owe me $10. What? This is ridiculous. I'm not paying. Come on, Junior. Wait, yeah, I'm going to call the popo. You steal it from me. Hey there, somebody called the cops about a robbery? I did, miss the Police Officer Man, because some kid done stole $10 from me. Okay, where'd he go? He went that way wearing glasses and a shirt. So he just ran up and stole your money? Well, no, what I have is this game called Dougie's Dunkaroo. And what you do is you pay me $10 and I give you two shots. And if one of your balls goes in one of the holes, whatever the number next to it is, how much money? you gotta pay me. Well, the kid made it in a $10 hole and he ain't give me no $10. Well, I can't say I blame him. I mean, this kind of sounds like bullshit. Well, what I did was is I gave him two free shots. And so he made one of them in a the $10 and he ain't paid me. No, this kind of sounds like you're trying to scam people. Well, the fair does it. Well, yeah, but that's the fair. This is somebody's house. What, Dougie, what are you doing? Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. What you do no, is you pay no, me $10. No, 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 no. He's trying to scam people out of the money. Dougie, I told you not to do that. Why? Well, I, I ain't mean to. You told me the fair did it and then you got scammed out of a hundred dollars at the fair. Well, Doug, <laughs> I think you two should probably just get out of here. Come on, Doug, let's go. Oh, I want to play this by myself. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, Doug, I cannot believe you tried scamming people. But you told me I could do it because the fair done did it to you. No, I never said you could do it. Marvin, keep it down. I'm trying to read my book. Well, I got an idea of how you can make money, Dougie. You could try writing a book, because the Harry Potter books have made billions of dollars. But Marvin, he said earlier he can't read. Yeah, Marvips, you just be trying to make fun of my disabilities. No, I'm just trying to help you make money so you can get your stupid game, because writing a book would make you a lot of money. Hmm, I guess I could try writing the books. Hey, can I borrow your books? Oh, yeah, I think you'll like it. It's about a boy named Harry Potter and he casts spells. What type of spells? No, he casts spells. He's a wizard. Oh, okay, I think I know what I'm just gonna write about. 
I can't believe you gave Dougie your book. Marvin, I think it's nice your friend is trying to read. Ah, right, Marvin, I wrote my books. Harry Potter and the Unknown Smell. Well, Dougie, get, get that out of here. Now I'm going to and ruin the ending for you. The Unknown Smell was his Harry Potter. Dougie, that was very inappropriate, and you didn't write that book. All you did was tape a picture to the front of her book. You ruined my Harry Potter book. Well, I'm just trying to get some money for the game. Listen, Dougie, if you're this desperate for money, why don't you donate a kidney? Well, what's a kidney? Well, look, it's something in your body. You have two of them, and you can donate one for money. Well, how are they gonna get it out? They're gonna do surgery and cut it out. Well, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, it's gonna hurt, but it'll make you money. Ooh, money? Well, I got some easy idea. What? All right, my bips, I got my kidney. What, Dougie, that's not your kidney. Yes, it is. No, that's made out of Play-Doh. No, it's not. I see the container right there. Don't tell nobody. I'm not gonna tell anyone, Dougie, but no one's gonna fall for this. No one's gonna think this is your kidney. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? You called a doctor? Yeah, because I gotta get the money for the game. <sighs> yeah, Mr. Doctor Man, I wanna sell my kidney for $60. But, but the, okay, hold on, I have a number of questions. First of all, how did you even get your kidney out? I pooped it out. But you, you just, you pooped it out? Yeah, I was sitting on the toilet, and I was so really constipated, and then after I went boo-boo, I got up and I looked down and said, there go my kidney. So here go my kidney. I didn't even know it was possible to poop your kidney out. It, how long has it been out? Because it only stays good for a few hours if it's not on ice. Oh, uh, about four or five minutes. Okay, and you only want to sell it for $60? Yeah, well, how much can I get for it? I mean, kidneys usually go for thousands. Okay, well, then that. No, 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 you said $60. Oh, well, plus taxes and fees. What, taxes and fees on what? The, 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 new, the new Call of Duty game. Wait, wait, so you want the new Call of Duty for your kidney? Yeah. So, if I go get you Call of Duty, you will give me your kidney? Yeah, that's a deal! I mean, that seems like a good deal for me. I mean, we actually do have a patient who needs a kidney. Uh, okay, I'll be right back with Call of Duty. Wait, you, you can't let him take this kid. You gotta tell him the truth. There's someone that actually needs it. Well, I really need the game. <sighs> okay, I'm back with a new Call of Duty. Oh! Oh, I just got a new Call of Duty! Yeah, I just have to get this kidney back to the little eight-year-old boy who really needs it. Oh, uh, that's something I gotta oh, tell no, you. sorry, I'm in a hurry. Hey, you just saved a life. Oh, no, no, I gotta take some... Oh, Dougie, the eight-year-old boy's gonna die because of you! Oh, that's fucked up. But at least I got a new Call of Duty! I just got a new Call of Duty! I just got a new Call of Duty! I just got a new Call of Duty! So now I'm gonna play it! Dougie, that kid is gonna die because you gave him a fake kidney. Why? That kid already has two knees anyway. How many more knees does he need? What? what? Well, I'm just gonna play the game, so hold on. Hey! No, right now, man, I'm playing the game! What, what's wrong, Doctor? Well, I got all the way back to the hospital, and I told that little boy and his family, congratulations, you're gonna live. I found a new kidney for you. So they all celebrated and cried, and then, when I went to go put the kidney in, I realized it was Play-Doh, and I ate it, because Play-Doh smells delicious. So now my stomach hurts, and that little boy's mad at me because he thinks I ate his kidney, and it's all his fault, and he owes me $60 because I bought him Call of Duty. Well, I got an idea I could pay you back. Come on. Welcome to Dougie's Dunkaroo. No, 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 I don't want to play this game, it's a scam. Well, this time the rules is different. For every hold that you make, that's how much money I pay you. Hmm, okay, yeah, I like that. But you gotta do it with this ball. Okay, um, uh, damn it. 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 Uh, damn it, this game is hard. Uh, damn it. Uh, 